So, another day, when I was talking about having done stage two and stuff on the Grinch, you know, that guy, I had someone in the comment section, and I apologize for not remembering who it was, and I went to try and find it, but I, it was a good piece of advice, and I, I apologize for not being able to call out the person by name. Anyway, so the next thing you should do is replace any parts that are plastic that shouldn't be. And what he was talking about primarily, he said specifically, was uh, intake manifold. It's plastic from the factory. You can put an SNS 55, 57, 59, something bigger. Uh, intake manifold that's made out of metal and it's a little smoother inside. You get better flow, et cetera, et cetera. But I just had this bike professionally tuned, and if you do that, you'd have to tune it. But I thought of something else that he sort of touched on that I'd done to other bikes earlier, haven't done to this one, and probably should. So you may have heard the fact that blow-by or excessive pre crankcase pressure is kind of a, a thing on the Milwaukee 8. It's not fatal. It's not like, oh my God, the world is ending. Everyone must drill holes in the side of their engine, right? Don't do that. Please don't do that. You know, anyway. Um, but I've done in the past. I've got on the wife's bike, I have a fueling vented dipstick. Uh, I did a Trask vented transmission cover on the 131 bike. And on this one, we're going to do another Trask vented transmission cover. Now, why did I choose that? Uh, because there's a plastic transmission cover from the factory I want to put a metal on. So I am not going to sit there and tell you that I think one is necessarily better than the other. They cost about the same. I bought this transmission cover, this Trask. I bought it from Dennis Kirk and I paid three fifty. What are they doing? Well, they're widening the driveway across the street. That's cool. I'm jealous. Anyway, so I paid three fifty for this from Dennis Kirk. Uh, crazy, it was here in like 36 hours. I don't know how the hell that happened. They come out of Ohio and it was here like the next day. Uh, I didn't pay next day or anything. So I have, again, backing up, the vented fueling dipstick on the wife's CVO. And we're putting a Trask vented transmission cover on my bike. I don't think one's better than the other, if I'm completely honest. I think the idea is there's a lot of you know gases built up inside the motor in the crankcase. And if you vent those off, the motor's going to spool up better. It's less wear and tear. You're going to get less oil coming out of your breather bolts. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Those. Those are breather bolts. They're hollow. They have a hole in them. Uh, and it allows gases off, uh, off the head. If you have excessive crankcase pressure, there's gonna be a lot of oil mist and stuff in those gases. It's gonna then go into your intake there in your manifold and it's gonna burn that off. So that's how you clog up the top of your pistons, your combustion chambers. They just get a little messy because you're burning oil a little bit. What this guy has is that, a vented dipstick made by Fueling. Really good product. Uh, about the same, I think about 350, but same concept. It's just there's a little you know, one-way valve on the top of there that lets the gases go off through that hose and that goes down to the bottom of the bike and there's a filter under there. You could put a catch can or whatever if you wanted to, but, um, or you could just put, I know dudes who just put uh, breather bolts that are just open. <laughs> so you're just venting gases and stuff outside the motor. I wouldn't necessarily do that. I like these sort of solutions are a little better. Uh, but like I say, you do a catch can, you could do a couple different things, you know, you could Externally vent your breather bolts. There's there's a lot of different ways to get those gases out of the motor But two most popular ways today are the vented dipstick or a vented transmission cover again for the thousandth time I think they do exactly the same thing. I don't think one does one better than the other I've heard some people complain That they don't like the idea of having to disconnect a hose from their dipstick to check the oil level. I think that's goofy. I think there's nothing wrong. It's it's a quick release fitting. You just click. It's not. This is not a thing. And then you stick it back on. It goes click. It's 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 incredibly easy. Nothing to it. I do think that's a lot easier install the vented dipstick because you just you, you take it out of the box. There's a there's a a one way check valve and stuff in there. Lots of engineering in that dipstick. You put it all together. Screw it under the bike. Then you put the fitting on, you run the hose where you want it as long as you want it, snip off any extra, put on the little filter on the end, and you're done. That's it. And then when you check your oil, just pull the fitting off real quick before you do it. On the transmission cover, there's work. It's not, it's, it's fiddly. It's one, two, three, six little, uh, what I call Allen, but they're called hex head bolts today. And you get rid of that plastic transmission cover, you put on the new one, and then it's the same kind of thing. You've got a line to run, a hose to run, all that stuff. I'll show you in a second. And you run down to the bottom, zip tie it on, and Bob's your uncle, you know, you're done there. Um, it's more of a pain for an install, but again, I'm eliminating a plastic part and replacing it with a chromed metal part. So, let me show you what it is on my 
workbench slash trash dumpster. You can see here you have, this is a filter, hose, lid. That's it. You're gonna use the stock bolts. You're gonna take the six bolts out of the stocker, pop her off, stick that guy back on. Really nice piece. It's a, uh, let me take the plastic off and show you. So there you go. See, it's a nice, I mean, bit of bling right into your bike. It says trash on the top. That's pretty cool. And there's the outlet. This hose goes on here on one end, and the other end goes on your filter here. You run it down to the bottom of the bike, zip tie it onto the frame or whatever, and you're done. Uh, if I remember correctly, I did this on the 131. I think I had to reuse the gasket, but this looks like it has a fresh one in there. This may be redesigned. Might be a new patent pending. Might be a new version of it. But as you can see, there's you know a, a one-way valve in there that lets gases out but won't let, let anything in. Also, people are going to ask, like, well, how much is going to come out of this thing? Practically nil. It's mainly gases, not really oil. So, you know, not a big deal. So anyway, so now I'm going to go pop off the plastic cheapie from the factory, stick this one new, this new one on, and then we'll figure out the, the line and the filter. All right, so that's done. So it's six 5 16 Allen bolts. And I was all excited because one of my favorite tools, as you all know, is my new, you know, uh, hex head, Allen head bit set that I bought a while back. And it's been perfect. It takes the caps off of forks. It, you know, it's had every size I needed. And it has the 5 16 as you see, missing. And it's a quarter inch ratchet. Figured, oh, I'll be able to get down there nice and easy. Uh, it wasn't so. Still need a little Allen key. Um, it's just the, the cylinders are too close to the actual transmission cover for you to get even a little quarter inch down in there. It just doesn't, even with a, uh, you know, woo, one of these little guys, it still wouldn't fit. So I had to like wrestle the damn old school hex head key down in there. But it's off. So it takes forever. I, this is a fiddly pain in the ass sort of thing to do, but it's worth it. So I'll show you the old one and the new one and all that. Old one, new one. So the old one has, and I'll put this back on. The old one has, you know, behind the uh, the gasket here, a hole and a hole and a little tube that sticks out of there. On the new one, it has that. You take the gasket off, you pop that little hose back out of there and you use it on the new one. So I fed this through. So you got a, a vent there, but in the new one, it also has this guy. So as you can see, there's like a diaphragm check valve kind of thing. And that vents from the crankcase to that fitting there. So this is the hose that's on the stocker. This is the one that you're getting that you put the tube on, run down to the bottom of the bike and, uh, you know, actually have a filter vented out. And it's just, again, it's a really nice upgrade for appearance, you know, just appearance wise, this is black plastic with fittings stuck down in there. And, uh, you know, there's a new one that says Trask and all that stuff. So it, it's it's worth the 350 for the peace of mind, in my opinion. And yes, I, I bought this, bought it from Dennis Kirk, paid 350 bucks for it. Uh, that price is kind of fixed. Trask makes sure that nobody sells it cheaper than that. So you can shop around if you want, but you're gonna pay 350. So now, time to pop this guy back on. Next step's a simple one. <laughs> Stick the hose on the, fitting coming out of the, the, the lid that we just put on, the, the, the transmission cover. Good God, I had to stop and do some work and my brain's all frazzled. So you're gonna stick that down over there, you're gonna zip tie that, you're gonna run it down below the starter, under the frame, find a good spot, snip off the right amount of hose, and then zip tie the, uh, the filter to it, to the end of it, and then zip tie the hose somewhere to the frame so it sits still. It's not, not complicated. So right there, sits the fitting, I'm gonna stick this hose over and zip tie it on. I'm gonna run the hose down beneath the starter where I've got it kind of poking right there, under here somewhere, and then kind of down probably behind the head pipe there. Maybe maybe just like right about here. I might, I might have it poking out, but not hard stuff, so not a big deal. I'll be back in a second when that's all done. All right, so what I ended up doing was running the hose down behind the head pipe, behind the transmission, and running it forward, ah, you're not able to see this, but there's a cavity between the frame and the motor here. If you put your hand under there, about the size of a baseball. And so that's where I put the filter and I zip tied the hose around the filter and then zip tied the whole thing to the frame rail. So, and it's between where the bike jack goes. So the bike jack's not gonna hit that zip tie and tear it. But she's tucked up in there nice. Worst case scenario, if I hear a rattle, I mean, I don't think I will, because you can't really, secure it. I mean, I could do a little better job, but it ain't coming off, that's for sure.
But I, you ain't going to hear that. But anyway, otherwise, running it back, we're not talking about a lot of pressure or a lot of oil mist or any of that stuff. Like, it's not like it's blowing oil out of it. Um, it's just mainly gases that are trying to come out of the crankcase. If you get rid of the gases and the oil doesn't push up and out of the breather roll, so that's, that eliminates that problem. But I, I, my thoughts were I didn't want it back here and then, you know, venting onto the exhaust head pipe maybe a little bit. and Not that it would be an issue, but, you know, just why. So that way, all the way up here would be a lot less likely. And it's, it's away from the head pipe a good three, three and a half inches, four inches. So it's on the inside of the frame rail. So it's not going to get on the pipe, I don't think. But, yeah, that's it. Not complicated stuff. So, again, I, the dipstick or the transmission cover, it is a pain in the butt to change that thing out. So the dipstick is probably easier. I think they cost the same, but I would recommend one of the two, if, unless you're going to do the breather bolt catch can thing, which is a whole other deal. Go back in my history. I did that on that one, and never did anything to that one, though. It's not as much of a problem with twin cam. But, uh, anyway, so... All happy with that. Let me button this thing up, throw the side cover back on the bag and all that, and we're done. If you don't know what this is, I got mine on Dennis Kirk. Maybe you can find it on Amazon. I don't actually I don't think you can find Trask stuff on Amazon. But anyway, so I'll put a link or something wherever, or at least where I got it from Dennis Kirk or something in the description. But thanks a bunch. Comment down below any questions you got. Let me know what you think. Hey, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And I haven't said this in a long time, but we're only driven by doing these videos for you guys. You know, ad revenue's nice and all that stuff. So please. Hit subscribe if you haven't. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care of each other out there. Bye.